Today I'm here to make you better at FC24. If you are someone that's new to these videos, I do upload them pretty frequently. If you want to get better at the game, please do consider subscribing. We're nearly at 100k, but do me a favour guys, let's hit 200 likes. Comment down below any questions and let's get into it. We're wasting zero time today. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so this is the team that I'm going to be using. Uh, win, lose, or draw. This video will be going live. We're going to be doing an in-game, in-depth, in-thought process. So basically, whatever I'm thinking, you will be hearing out loud. Um, coming from the perspective of a current 20-0. Sometimes I do choke the 20-0. But, you know, a, a good level player. Hopefully, uh, I'm able to help you learn something today. That's the plan. Okay, so this is our opponent's team. Let us see what... Wow, okay. He does have something to offer. Fair play. I mean, it's a good team. Um, but we're going to jump into it, guys. Controller input will be on the screen. Any questions, like I say, please comment down below. Uh, you can see the controller input. Is this guy actually going to leave? Please, please don't. Please. Pretty please. Okay, we're actually getting into the game. We are changing into a five back. Um, what I'm going to do is I offside trap from the kickoff, which is something that even before the patch, you know, I, I really do recommend it. Second man pressing, trying to cover two options at once. In this five back, and the reason it's so effective is it allows you to pull a player out of position and still have, uh, you know, numbers back because we're absolutely trolling here. Okay, taking our time. I'm using L1 to send players on a run. Uh, absolutely spamming it, hoping that people get forward here. Looking for any potential options. We do get the ball into Ronaldo. We'll fizz the ball out wide. L1 sprint boost. We're still looking for these cutbacks. Do not listen to EA Sports. I'm telling you, these cutbacks are still very vi viable. Uh, maybe not exactly as good as they were, but it's probably still the best way to score, like 100%. Uh, get the ball into Ronaldo here. Oh, it's unlucky. All right, offside trap again. Just trying to squeeze our opponent. Make sure that he's got no easy runs in behind. Take our time here. Spray the ball out wide. And despite this being a five at the back, you actually can use it very offensively. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, just a every man behind the ball rat tactic. Like, it is ratty, but you guys, you know, you get the point. You, you, you've got your fullbacks overlapping. Um, it's very much attacking, you know, with extra players at the same time. So, again there, second man press wins us the ball back. And every time you win the ball, you just want to be taking your time and looking for who's in space. So, for me, I'll win the ball back. I'll then look at the mini-map. And that will help me decide where I want to go. We'll use a player lock here uh, to cut the ball into the middle. Another driven pass into Puskas. And it is a good block from Vieira. I always take the short corner. So we're going to go for that same pattern of play again. We'll take it here. Wait a second. Aim for the back post now. Should win the header. It's unlucky. Uh, but again, I'm looking at the mini-map. I can see that he's got that throw out there. He's probably going to try and switch the ball across the pitch. If I had to guess, he actually didn't. Uh, the second man press is going to win us the ball back. And now we need to try and punish him from this. He's got players out of position. Using the driven pass. Step over boost now. We'll delay it. R1 dribble him. And then we find at the back of the net. But that's a really good way of actually beating the goalkeeper. The R1 dribble in there. You see as he comes out. Use that R1. Nice and easy. Let's get into another game. I've had so many people asking me, you know, about the five back and, you know, why it's so prevalent now. Like, I do have a video on the tactics on my channel if you guys are interested in that. The reason for it, right, is obviously we've had the Travellers uh, definitely nerfed. Are we going to get rigged here? Like, what is going on? Oh, this game reeks. Anyway, so we've had the Travellers nerfed, right? And... It's just taken away a way of scoring from outside the box. So naturally, you know, having the five players back now is just going to be the way to go. There's less ways to score. This particular match, by the way, what is going on here? It feels horrific. Uh, literally can't control the football. Anyway, we're going to offside trap. That wins us the ball back there. Uh, bit quick movements here. I'm going to play a lock and try and find the ball. 
might work. We'll try and ball roll. Does not quite come off. Uh, good press there, though. Good press. We get the ball with Puskas. Step overs to keep the ball. CR7. We should win the header. We do. It's good defending from our opponent. Getting away with murder there, man. Uh, good step in and tackle with Blanc. R1 dribbling with Puskas. Sometimes you just get them games. You really do. Hey, but you can see the effectiveness, you know, of that R1 dribbling. Um, it's absolutely crazy. Like, anywhere in and around the box, people just do not know how to deal with it at all. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't give him the down the line the ball. Da down the line? Down the line ball here. I can't speak. Right, taking our time again. Uh, stepping him. Not pressing the tackle button much. That's not something that's changed. People can't believe it when I do coaching sessions and say that like I barely ever actually press the tackle button. Uh, but that is the case. I I rarely will press it. There is times I will. But for the most part, like a well-timed jockey and moving into the player that has the ball is enough, you know. Uh, but here, just got to make sure that we're not pulling players out of position because otherwise, you know, a high-level player is going to take advantage of that taking our time really good um turnover of possession now we've got cr7 here l1 sprint boost we're not going to get in sadly but a good bit of dribbling i should have driven past that <clears throat> whereas i actually tried to through ball was not the right play at all so lucky <clears throat> my bad guys just having a coffin fit whilst trying to defend this attack here. Not ideal. Offside trap. Get the line high again. Uh, if we can win the ball here, there's a serious, serious counter-attack opportunity. I don't know what this guy's like running. Uh, but his fullbacks look like they're on a constant overlap, both of them. Okay, we do win the ball. L1 sprint boost with Puskas now. And we're going to bait the player lock. It's just going to give us a bit of extra time here to go all the way down the line. Look. Look to cut the ball back. Sadly, didn't quite come off. Uh, but we've got another opportunity. Offside trapping. He's going to try and switch it, I think. We're going to step out. Oh, got to be super careful. Really good. That's one of the situations there where I have actually pressed tackle. Uh, when the ball's clearly there to be won, you can go for it. But a lot of the time, I do prefer to just walk, you know, whilst holding jockey and do it that way. Uh, R1 dribbling once again. Top corner. You are never keeping that out. But you can see the general way that you're attacking after this new patch. You're not lining up these Travellers anymore. It's more about just getting in and around the box. Uh, R1 dribbling. You know, you're still looking for those cutbacks where possible. Um, you can see I, I get out wide here. We try and make a lot of our attacks still from these wide positions. With the aim of cutting back into the middle. Uh, that is at least the way I play and what works for me. So again, you can see here we get the ball out wide. I'm actually going to try and trigger a German cross here. Well defended from the opponent. Uh, take our time. I'm looking at the mini map. Took too much time there. We need to recover now. Uh, I'm going to try and bait the keeper movement. Good from the opponent. We absolutely I messed that up. I messed it up. I was going for the uh, switch across. I was using the mini map to see where my right back was. And just took a tiny bit too long. But it's fine. These games are good. Because it's one of those frustrating champs games that you end up getting. You know where it feels like nothing's going your way. Uh, but you can always. You know you can always find a way to bring these back. Like for sure. Um, good press there. Taking our time. I tried to cancel the shot. I don't know whether that showed on the controller input. But I, I pressed to cancel that. And sadly, it did not happen. Um, so we go again. Frustrating game. However, I'm confident that we will be fine. When you have a game like this, it's literally just all about keeping your head. Uh, FC or FIFA, whatever you're still calling it. It is uh, such a mental-based game. You can see the player lock there to get us in behind. Really, really good touch from Puskas as well. Not enough power, Jambu. That's my my bad. Absolutely my bad. We'll take our time. Recycle to the edge of the box here. R1 dribbling once more. 
Little ball roll to shield it. Try and work the ball inside. Use a drag back. Try to cut inside. It's good defending. I'm very confident with the way, you know, that this particular match is going. We're going to get the chances to go on and win the game. I really do think that. Uh, R1 dribbling here into Ronaldo. And that is going to be 2-2 just like that. But again, it's that same attacking pattern of getting the ball to the edge of the box. And then working it back inside. It is uh, super, super effective. Or at least like one of the only effective ways of attacking. Maybe that's why it feels so effective. Because a lot of other things just don't work on this game, you know. Uh, taking our time, really, really good pass. We'll use the player lock here. Near post, that's a good save. You can see there, just a little tiny micro move with the player lock is what enabled us to get the ball to CR7 there. Taking our time. We've got that back post cross on. Oh, it's a poor header. Absolutely poor header. But we're playing well. Uh, this is one of those games, you know, we've completely controlled it. But um, a couple of mistakes from me. And also a little bit of unluckiness. But we go the exact same, you know, once again. Taking our time. We'll use the switch. Try and work something down the line here again. You can see, you sort of, you play the ball with your fullback into the middle. Send him on a run. And then you can easily get the ball to him on an overlap. It's so common. So again here, you know, I pass with a fullback. Pass to someone else. And then you've always got that pass back to the fullback on um, you can follow like the same patterns of play. I've tried to stress this in coaching sessions where <clears throat> basically FC or FIFA, <clears throat> whilst there is little bits, you know, of improvisation needed, you can play a lot of your game, um, through muscle memory and autopilot genuinely like, and it will make your life so much easier if you know the patterns of play that you're going for without even having to think about them. And we're actually going to try a Traveller here. You can see they're just, they're just not it anymore. They're just not it. They can be if you green them, but in general, they're not it. Uh, we get the ball to the edge of the box. So Liba, little one-two with Puskas. Oh, I went for the step over boost. That's unfortunate. I'm almost certain that we're going to score. I don't want to jinx myself here, but... We're just in such control of the game. And these are the ones where you just have to keep your head um, and just believe, you know, that the gods will gift you with a goal. Really good step in there. Taking our time. Uh, we'll spray the ball all the way out again and look for a counter-attack opportunity. Really good ball there. Rapino. Got a good opportunity. Such an awful pass. Maybe I should have gone over the top, but I don't think so. I think we just got a bit rigged. Taking our time well there. Uh, sending Puskas on a run. Sending CR7 on a run. Driven pass into him. Uh, we're going to use a drag back. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the use of the drag back there. Uh, just to give us the extra yard, you know, for an open shot around his defender. Uh, people don't really expect the drag back anymore. I found that it is actually still okay, you know, in the right situations. Uh, so that is definitely something to look out for. Uh, that's poor from me, rushed once again. Offside trap, get the line high. Um, you can see we're pressing relentlessly. It is our, our biggest weapon is the press. You know, these offside traps, people... They cannot deal with it, man. I'll, I'll tell you that much. They cannot deal with it. But offside trap, once again, makes it really, really difficult for people. We're going to have a potential counter opportunity here. We're going to look for a driven pass into CR7 once again. Ball roll scoop just to change direction and give us some potential options out wide. We'll wait for the pass in here. Modric, step over turn. And we find the back of the net. And at this point, it should absolutely be GG's. Uh, our opponent has not offered too much in the sense of going forward. Obviously, we gifted one of the goals as well. So when you guys are in this situation, you know, maybe your opponent goes team press. Maybe it starts getting a little bit difficult for you. You basically just want to play the same, but a little bit more conservative. So you'll see me take less risk passes, but we're still trying to score more always. Uh, R1 dribbling once again. Oh, it could have easily nearly been a penalty there. 
But again, same premise. Uh, using the second man press in a wide position here whilst covering the middle manually. Uh, that is my way of defending from those wide situations. Got to try and mark this pass in here. There is options. Really good. Good right stick switch. And we end up playing our way out of the danger. We just got tackled by our own player, which is wonderful. Offside trap again. Absolutely spamming it right now to get it uh, going. Because it just felt like nothing was happening there. Ideal. We do actually press tackle there. Step in. We'll take our time. Screw it. Switch all the way across. Going to try and get an attack going here with a player lock. Really nice. Taking our time. Another switch on here. No. Awful. Absolutely awful. It actually was on. We just got a horrific pass. Another tackle. Looking for the driven passes. Going directly forward. Cutback area here. So we'll use the player lock. One more cutback. One more once again. And I can't believe he's missed. But you can see there, this quick passing inside the box as well. Your opponents will, you know, they'll get absolutely ripped apart. It just does work very, very effectively. We'll step in. That's why I sometimes don't like pressing tackle, man. I feel like we should have given away a foul there. Um, but we got away with it. Really good from him with Maldini. Got to make sure we're focusing on Kane here. Like, Zico's not the real danger. Um, it's more these players in the middle you see here. So, yep, perfect. We stayed on Kane and we end up sweeping the danger. Good driven pass. Uh, I'm trying to work a way to get to Puskas here. So that is what we're going to do. R1 dribbling. And that is going to be GG. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of the game. It is over. But I hope this helped you in some way. If you have any feedback, please let me know. Subscribe for more of these videos. I would really appreciate that. We're nearly at 100k. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And guys, I will catch you on the next one. Hopefully, I'm about to get another goal for you right here, right now. No, I'm not. Catch you on the next one. Peace.